In this video, we'll go over connecting the electronics for the Mechanoid G15 and the G15KS. Now that you've built your Mechanoid and selected your language, it's time to connect the electronics. Your Mechanoid comes equipped with a robot brain called the Mechabrain. In this video, you'll see how to connect all the Mechanoid's electronics to the Mechabrain. Whether you have a G15 or a G15KS personal robot, the steps needed to connect the electronics are nearly the same. Your smart servos should have been daisy-chained during the build, but in case you missed these steps, let's take a quick look back. At step 44 for the G15, take the long servo cable from the left arm servo motor and connect it to the short servo cable on the shoulder. At step 55, repeat these steps for the right arm. Now it's time to plug the servos into the Mechabrain. As illustrated in step 88, step 157 for the G15KS, insert the left arm servo plug into the slot labeled 1 on the Mechabrain. The LED eyes and neck servos if you have the G15KS go into slot 2. Insert the right arm servo cable into slot 3. After the arm servos are plugged in, now it's time for the feet. This is also easy to do. The plug for the left foot motor goes into the left port of the Mechabrain. The right foot goes into the right port. They're color-coded so you can easily identify them. Make sure the plugs are pushed in completely. It can be a tight squeeze getting the plugs into the Mechabrain. If you're having a hard time, use the hex key tool to help push the connector end into the Mechabrain. When inserting the batteries for G15, make sure you put them in with the correct polarity. Once the batteries are installed, insert the battery plug into the Mechabrain. And remember to make sure the Mechabrain is switched to robot mode. Congratulations! Your Mechanoid is now fully built and ready for your command! 